Hi everybody, this is Tony Hawk and uh, this uh, pre-calculus lesson is on graphing uh, graphs of polar equations. Okay, this is a fun lesson. So we're going to graph uh, r equals the sine of theta. So I'm going to set up a, a t-chart right here and I'm going to plug in uh, all these angles for my theta into sine. So take the sine of all of those. So Okay, so if I did the sine of 0 is 0, the sine of 30 is 0.5, the sine of 45, and make sure your calculator is in degrees mode because these are all degrees and the sine of 60 is, is 0.9 and so on. So this is uh, my r right here because r equals the sine of theta and this is my theta right here. So for here this would be 0, 0, this would be 0 0.530 and so on. So you'd see those right there. Okay, and, and notice here's 0, 0. Uh, and then uh, 0.530 okay and my circles look at my here's my key to my circles my circles are going by 0.25 so uh, so this would be 0.25 this would be 0.5 right there okay and then uh, so here's a point uh, 0.745 degrees it's a little bit less than 0.75 here's a 0.9 uh, 60 and then finally here's a 1 one would be uh, for the circles out 190 right there okay let's go ahead and keep going with those degree measures right there those degree measures they uh, just kept going around down here here's uh, 0.9 120 0 0.7 135 0 0.5 uh, 180 can you see those and then here's 0 180 right there 0 0.5 150 sorry and then here's 0 so it kind of look this looks like a circle right here and this circle is is uh, in this case, it's, radi it's um, uh, radius a half, which is diameter of equal to one right there. Okay, if I did uh, the purple ones, notice the purple ones are just, they're overlaying those ones that are up here. So it's just symmetric going around right there. And if I did, if I kept going right there, it's just, it's giving me these points right here. Okay, so it's the same circle right there. So R equals the sine of theta graphs a circle. Okay, when I do the same thing with R equals cosine of theta, it's another circle, but my circle's over here, okay? And I could do the same thing with uh, what I did right there. So R equals 2 sine of theta, and R equals uh, 2 cosine of theta gives the same circles uh, with the diameters equal to, um, in this case, 2. Uh, notice I did the key now up here is 0 0.51 and, and so on, okay? So when you have uh, 2 cosine right there, okay? So it was, um, uh, there's my diameter right there of 2 because of that 2 right there, okay? All right, and the red guy is R2 sine theta, and the blue guy is R2 uh, 2 cosine theta right there, okay? And they're just circles right there. Okay, so if I did R equals negative 2 sine of theta, it would just be an upside-down circle. And if I did R equals negative 2 cosine, it's going to be over here, okay? Uh, all right, so uh, graph each polar equation. Okay, so we'll do the same thing. Set up a T-chart, and when I plug in, uh, and I'm doing uh, uh, in terms of pi right here, I plug them in and I get uh, those values right there. That's equal to my R right there. So my R is negative 2, 0. Okay? Notice my circles this time are going by 2, 4, 6. So each circle is 2. So here's 0 degrees. So this would, over here would be positive 2, 0. So this is negative 2, 0 where that blue dot is right there. Okay? And then uh, negative 1.3 pi over 6. This is pi over 6, this angle right here. And so I go in the negative direction that gives me this. Okay? And then um, uh, 0.5 at pi over 3. Okay, 0.5 at pi over 3 is over here. So, so far it's doing this, and it looks like it's, it's looping around, and it's coming back up, and then uh, radius 3. There's my radius 3 right there. Okay, so it started here, and it went over here, and it looped around, and now it's going up right there. Let's keep going. Okay, when I graph those guys right there, um, there's that one. Now sit, watch it loop around. Okay, there's that, there's that, and uh, there's that right there. Okay, and then I'm going to continue, continue, continue. And so what happens is it, it did this. It started here and it looped around, went up, and it looped back around and came back around, looped around back there. Okay, and so this graph is called a limicon, okay? And so you can connect them if you want. So it starts here and it just loops around and then comes back and loops back around right there. And that graph is called a limicon. Okay, so how we do this in our graphing calculator is you scroll down, uh, you go into the mode. Your mode is uh, in the top left hand corner right next to your second function feature. Okay, and you press mode on your calculator and you scroll down to uh, 
polar. Um, do you guys see that where it says function right there? Go down to function, which is the third, fourth one down, and scroll over to polar. Okay. And then uh, go to window and scroll down, changing the theta step to pi over 12. And I just found pi over 12 to be the most accurate with this. Um, so now try uh, this guy. So to put, put that in your calculator now. So now go into uh, y equals, except it's r equals. But now since we have it in polar, it's understood that that y equals, it'll, it'll say r equals. So r equals and plug that in right there. And it'll give you a, a nice graph of that lemicon right there. Okay, so try it with this one right there and use your graphing calculator along with a smaller table. Uh, okay, and first check out the shape in your graphing calculator and, this, and, and then build your table right there. So here I am building this table right there. Okay, and this is going to create what's called a rose. Okay, and so uh, uh, in your calculator it's going to go up here, over here. I wish I had connected them, but I didn't. And then finally right here, and this is called a rose. Okay. All right, so uh, when it's in this form right here, it's going to graph a rose right there. Okay, so I'll graph this guy right here, and that's going to give me a figure eight right there. So that graph is called a figure eight. So here's the uh, classic polar curves. Okay, and I got this figure right here. So here's my rose. You can have uh, 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 a rose with a many steps or a rose with few steps right here. Um, well, I don't. Let's see. This one's pronounced. Uh, 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 yeah, it's pronounced that right there. There's two different ways to do a lemicon. We did this one right here. You might get that one right there. A cardioid right here. A cardioid is uh, is a form of a lemicon right here. Okay, and this is a spiral, Archimedes spiral. Okay, it's just some fun graphing. So solve the systems algebraically. So here I would solve algebraically and set uh, three minus sine uh, three sine of theta equal to four minus sine of theta. Solve for sine of theta, and uh, you should get um, those two is your solutions right there. Alright, so just have some fun with this. It is kind of fun.